So oh. I'm truly honored to introduce our guest, our guest Kola, who is a true luminary in QA engineer with a wealth of knowledge and experience. His impressive achievement and contribution to the field have earned them, had earned him a well-deserved reputation. So we are fortunate to have him to share his insights and valuable perspectives. So everyone, please welcome Kola. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon, everyone. Hi, Kola. Thank you so much for joining. First of all, congratulations from my end that you made Thank it. You. I mean, it took us it took us like time, but you made it. Yeah. So, <laughs> guys, first of all, can we congratulate Kola, like who actually proved that you know IT is possible? Yeah, Kola, over to you. Would you mind if you can share your journey with us? Like, it will be really uh, we will be honored to. Yeah. Hear. I know it has not been a an easy one. Um, there's a lot of frustration on the way as well. I know how you always call me in the middle of the night, like, "Oh, don't worry, we'll get through to this." You know, every single time. And I still remember when I would call you, like, I "Think I'm getting tired," you know, and you know, yeah, trying to change, time. trying to change courses and all of that, and you just tell me we can, we can, we can do it. Let's just keep on doing this, you know. And I remember, I think um, during the interviews as well, I think I went through like four rounds of interviews and we did the um, third interview and we didn't hear back from them again. Then few 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 months, they came back again and said, oh, are you available for the fourth round? I said, oh, then I, then I reached out to you, Nema, and I said, yeah, go ahead and do it. And and the courage that you 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 give me and and the belief as well you know made me so as well believe in myself and the training as well and thanks to Hude, which is my trainer okay um, yeah i need to yeah i need to i need to send him a message too <laughs> yeah. yeah definitely definitely you know what like even my fingers were crossed like when you were going for your uh you know the fourth round the last round because the, yeah we have seen a lot of hardship throughout the journey and uh, it yeah. was like we always believe it at think loudly that every student or someone who is connected with us should land a job because it's going to be a great benefit to the student and as well as us right i'll be very exactly. honest yeah exactly yeah so when exactly. I mean, how many uh, interviews have you gone through uh, kola throughout and uh, what 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 was your own experience and um and what have you in mind which can be very helpful to our students who are aspiring to be in it yeah i think for the most part is the consistency that you need to have and you don't have to look at what other people are doing or you need just focus on what you are doing and just believe in yourself that your time will always come and you will hit it i know it's kind of difficult with you know juggle work life and everything together with the training and you want to go back and revise what you've been taught as well it's it's kind of difficult when we look at where we are right now in the us or canada the stress of work and all that you know sometimes you get tired of wanting to go back to your laptop and open it and revise everything or you just have to keep on going to yourself like you have to tell yourself like you need this, you need this. Nobody can do it for you except you. Um, I think my my advice would be just keep on pressing forward. Don't 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 stop. And just keep on believing in yourself that you always get it through one day. All you need is just trust in the process. That's why I believe in Think Cloudly. I trust in their process and I stuck with them and I got my results so far. And so cool. always try. Yeah. How many interviews, uh, you know, have you gone through, and uh, uh, like, what were your what were your strategy? I mean, uh, were you were you learning QA all the time, or how, what was the strategy? You know, to basically get ready for your next interview. I think what really helped me was the interviews I've done over the years. Really helped me on the way as well, and also the strategy that you brought for me, Neman, and put together with what we planned out during the interview process. And I went through four interview process. Um, 
I could remember the 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 recruiter called me and said, "Oh, we have about twenty seven people on this job that applied for this role. Um, seven of you went through the recruiter score to the IRA manager score. So I was like, "Oh wow, seven! How can I do this?" And I just, you know, I called in and I said, "Oh, I need I need help on this." And you and you just encouraging me. You kept encouraging me and letting me know, yes, we'll get through to this. And yeah, and I jumped on it and I went through the first round. That was about, so the first round was about uh, one hour, 20 minutes um, of video calls with the area manager. So there were two. After that, they moved me forward to the second round, um, which was um, seven of them interviewing me that very day. After that, I went through the third round as well, three people interviewed me as well so after like six months i didn't hear from them again then they came back after six months and said oh we're ready now will you be able to do the fourth round i said okay and i went to the fourth round with three people and their dad and, and their vice president as well so i went to the fourth round the following day they gave me the offer um so that was the process so it might look like things are not working. That was why I said consistency is the key. It might look like, oh, I've been doing this, I've been doing that, it's not working. Just know that it will it will it will work. Just keep on pressing. Don't 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 ever say, oh, I'm tired. Oh, you're looking at what other person is doing, you want to jump on it as well. Just believe in the process. Just believe in the process. Keep applying. It was, yeah. it, was bit, it was a bit stressful at the time. I think you you had some difficult time with your uh, with your previous job as well, right? Yeah. And it was it was quite a stressful time because Yeah, that was when I was working with Ernest and Young. I got laid off with Ernest and Young, so I got frustrated again. Yeah, it was a very frustrating time, I remember. <laughs> because I got was, frustrated. <laughs> yeah. Because you were burning all your money, attending trainings, going for a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah, I was doing a lot of trainings here and there, and I felt like, oh my goodness, I was so frustrated. Young, yeah. Um, somebody is asking. Um, I was with. It was a senior regulatory compliance. Okay, yeah, yeah. that was the role. Yes, yes, I remember. So I mean, yeah. so Kola, all the best for your new role. Uh, certainly, I mean, uh, I am. I'm yeah. sure that students who have who are here with us, they must be a bit. Uh, confident now that you know yeah. if they if there is no hope for six months it it doesn't mean that you will not get a job so that yeah. is a learning what we are getting and from. I think and I think what really helped me again was the EY on my resume oh really okay. so I will, I, will, I will advise if you want to set up your resume make sure you look for a bigger company to use on your resume yeah that yeah. will really that will really help to you to help the area manager to even when you don't really hit the point that they're actually looking for, they will be looking at your experience, which really matters a lot to to consider you as well. Yes, yes. I mean, that's a, that's a good good point what you are bringing because a hiring manager can be very uh, impressed, you know, by, you know, by the information what you put on your resume. And that's yeah. how your resume can have a worth. I mean, thank you yeah. so much, Ola, for So you don't want to use just any other company. You want to at least one or two bigger company that everybody recognized, like mostly the consulting firm, just pick one of them and add it to your resume. Or you can use that as your current role because they believe as a consultant, you have vast knowledge already, even when you don't. But you just want to put yourself out there and make them believe this is you, this is what you are. So that will really help to you in the point. By the time they are looking at maybe two or three, of you for them to make their decision they will be looking at the experiences as well and look at okay who can we bring on board that can do this for us so i think that's where that experience will come in for you yeah great that's okay someone is asking yeah. can i talk about my previous background and experience yeah, yeah, please yeah that'll be helpful Kola. so i think neman did everything for me in terms of so what i just did was i just had previous places that I've worked. I've worked with TJX. I've worked with Ernest Young. And I just added one other bigger company again. 
And so for the most part, you just want to know how to cover your, your track in terms of your background check. You have to have an... So when they ask me, oh, do you have an employer? I say, yes, I have an employer. I already have an employer that I can use already. So I just said, yes, I have an employer. Ernest Tanyong is not my employer. So that really covered that track for me. When they said, oh, can we call Ernest Tanyong? I said, no, you can't call Ernest Tanyong. Ernest Tanyong is not my employer. Because I know if they call in the NS Young, that was, that was not my role in NS Young. So I just said, oh, I have an employer. Yeah, I mean, we, we can certainly, you know, touch base. Uh, people who have this kind of a query, we can certainly touch base about it later on. Uh, there is a way out and we can always discuss about it. So, uh, yeah. it, but it's very important that you do it properly and uh, your resume needs to be exactly. ready uh, Kola, because exactly. definitely it requires like one-to-one -one discussion with people, right? How they want to position their resume, right? So, yeah. uh, so in the audience, like if any one of you has any doubt or you want to ask question, we, you can always reach out to us and we can certainly work it out and tell us like how it really works. Yeah, sure. So thank you so much, Kola, for coming and, you know, sharing all the details about like how, about on your journey. Thank you for watching. Switch from non IT to IT today. Explore www.thinkcloudly.com.